you know, this morning, you know, I feel the intense, the intensity of the Spirit of God in this place. You know, if we keep pushing, if we keep push ourselves into the presence of God, We could keep push ourselves into the presence of God. I tell you, God will draw closer and closer to us. Closer than ever before. Come on up in your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit for a while. Come on, draw closer and closer to Him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. It's you that we need. Oh, it's you that we need. It's you that we desire. Oh, it's you that we want. Oh, nothing in this world can replace you in our heart. Oh, nothing in this world can replace you. Oh, you're the only one we need. You're the only one we love. Oh, you're the only one we pursue. Oh, you're the only one we look after. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Come on, love him truly. I said love him truly. Come on, don't just say yes to me, but begin to say it to him. Come on, say it to him. Oh, Ria la la ma, Shandere ya la 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 ma. Yandiri ya la 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 ma, Sikire ya karabaraba. Oh Lord, oh that nothing can distract us from pursuing Him. Oh, nothing can distract our Focus in pursuing God in our life and knowing Him. Knowing Him like we have never known Him before. This must be the desire of our heart. This must be the everyday desire of our heart. To know Him. To know Him daily. To know Him from eternity to eternity. The one who created us. The one who shaped and formed our lives. The one who died for us and rose from the dead for us. The one who will come back for us. Oh, we worship you. We want to know you more. To know you more. More than ever before. For this is the reason why we're here. And this is the reason why we why we are created so that we can know you oh the depths of your love the depths of your affection to each one of us oh we worship you lord Come on, for the last time, lift up your hands higher than before. I tell you, God is putting an intense desire in each heart in this place to seek Him. To seek Him more. That we will look for, that we will only look for Him. We will only seek Him. Oh Lord, oh let that intensity be in each, be in each one of our hearts this morning. Oh, an intense desire to know you. An intense desire to be closer and closer to you. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Come on, everybody, just lift up your hands higher. Your both hands to Him. Lord, I want to know you. To know you more. To 
hear your voice to see your face to know your heart to hear your mind to hear the beat of your heart oh Jesus we live to know you oh we live to know you Oh, we worship you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We bless your name. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. You know... The devil will do with all his power to take away that desire. That's why when the people of Israel, when the people of Israel was in Egypt, Pharaoh put all the put all kinds of circumstances into the lives of God's people so that they will not desire to pursue God. Pero make them busy. Pero put all kinds of heavy laden upon them so that they will not they will have they will have no any mind to seek for God. But God set us free. I said God set us free. Tell your neighbor you are free. You know the Bible says in Exodus chapter 5 verse 9 that the labor be heavier on the men and let them work at it so that they will not pay no attention to false words. You know this is the strategy of Satan. Amen. This is the strategy of Satan to make us more and more busy with so many things. And put heavy laden, put heavy load on us so that we will not pay attention to God's word. Tell your neighbor it's too late for the devil. Amen. Because God already taken our heart. I said God already taken our heart. Has God already already taken your heart? God already taken our heart, it's too late for him. It's too late for the devil to stop us from pursuing God. Even he will do all kinds of tricks to pursue God. You know, this, this story is very important for us to understand. That's why in the last days, the difficulties will come. All kinds of struggles and circumstances will come into all into the world so that people will not pay attention to to what God is saying because they thought their the lives because because I'm sorry because they thought life is just working and working and carrying heavy load. No, our life we are created by God so that we can know him. Amen. Okay, let's go to what I want to share to you this morning. But this is what God put into my heart. Do not allow circumstances and all kinds of, of, of heavy laden to stop you from pursuing Him. Amen. Especially today, everything goes up. <laughs> Amen. Everything goes up. The prices of basic commodities goes up. Then we need to work harder. I said we need to work harder so that and give less and less time for God. And give more and more time so that we can cope to all the needs that that surrounds us. But I tell you, God will give us wisdom so that we can multiply what we have so that we can have more time for Him. I said so that we can have more time for Him. 
Amen. That's why look at the world today. They have no time for God. Even Sunday, they, they, they cannot come because they need to work. Because they need to pay so many bills. Then some people say, if, if I will come to church, who will pay my bills? <laughs> Hello? They don't realize that the Bible says, if, they, if we seek God first, if we seek His kingdom first, and His righteousness, all that the Gentiles are seeking will be added unto us. Amen? If we seek Him first, if we put God first in our life, God will put us first too. I said God will put us first too in His heart. That's why this is important for us to understand because in the last days, people will have all kinds of reason not to follow God because they go through difficult times, they have so many needs, who will pay the bills, who will pay all, all, all the things that they, they need. But they don't realize, look at the people, people of God in, in the wilderness. 40 years, God provided for them. I said 40 years, God provided for them. Don't mention the wilderness. Mention first Goshen. When all the calamities hit the, the land of Egypt, there is a place for God, for God's people. Amen. As a place of safety. A place, a place where all our needs will be met, will be provided by God in a supernatural way. Amen. Hey, do you believe this thing? Just seek God first. There are, there are. There is a blessing that we don't need to labor so hard. That we can only get in putting Him first in our life. Okay, you don't believe. I said there is a blessing that we don't need to sweat blood for us to be blessed. Just obey Him. I said just obey God. When we obey God, you don't need to sweat blood. I said you don't need to sweat blood for you to feed yourself and clothe yourself. You don't need to sacrifice your pursuing, pursuing God in your life when you put Him first in your life. Amen? You know, this is, this, this is the deception of the enemy. Uh, hello. So even Christians are deceived. Their tithes are present, but their body is not there. I will not follow those kind of trends. If you cannot come, don't send your tithes. Thank you, Lord. I'm free. <laughs> Some people are funny. I tell you, we, we are important to God. People are more important than what they can give. I said we are more important than what, than what we can give. Because God can, God, God have everything. I said God have everything. God doesn't need our giving. Um, it doesn't mean don't give. But what I'm trying to say is, you are more important than what you can give. I said you are more important than what you can give. Okay. Open your Bible in Deuteronomy 32. This morning we will talk about the church in the power of one. The church in the power of one. You know, the church must become one. The Bible says, though we are many, but we are one body. Amen. Though we are many, I don't know how many of us are here, but though we are many, but we are one. I said we are one. Yes. Are we one? Yes. We must become one. In Deuteronomy 32, verse 30, I will give you scriptures after scripture. Deuteronomy 32, verse 30, How could one chase a thousand and put ten thousand to flight unless the rock had sold them and the Lord had given them up? Indeed, the rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies themselves judge, judge this. That's why the question is, how could one chase a thousand and to put, put
put 10,000 to flight unless the Iraq had sold them. Meaning, unless we become one with Him, we cannot defeat our enemy. That's why we must become one with the Lord and become one with one another. I said we must become one with Him and become one with one another. And Leviticus chapter 26 Leviticus 26 verse 8 Five, five of you will chase a hundred and a hundred of you will chase a will chase ten thousand and your enemies will fall before you by the sword. Hey, imagine we as God's people we can defeat our enemy by becoming more and more united. I said by becoming more and more united. Look at the they look at the church today. Churches are everywhere and yet they cannot chase the enemy. Drugs are rampant, corruption are rampant, violence are everywhere. The enemy is still the one ruling the atmosphere. The enemy is still the one ruling the city. Even though there are so many churches everywhere. Why? Because the, ch the church is not moving in the power of one. I said the church is not moving in the power of one. But the moment the church becomes one, the moment the church moves in the power of one, then we can chase our enemy. We can destroy our enemy. We can push our enemy out of our territory. I said we can push our enemy out of our territory. We will see the, we will see God is the one ruling the whole city. Amen. That's why the devil is not afraid of churches everywhere. I said the devil is not afraid when churches are everywhere. The devil is afraid when the church become one. I said the devil is afraid when the church become one. So five of you will chase a hundred. These five become united. Five of you will chase a hundred, and a hundred of you will chase ten thousand. Last warning. I'm just joking. You will be thrown out of the court. Joshua chapter 23. Joshua 23. Verse 10. One of, one of your men will put to plight a thousand, for the Lord your God is he who fights for you, just as he promised you. Amen? How these things will happen, that we can push our enemy, that one can put, a, a, one can put to plight a thousand, because the Lord is one with us. Amen? I said, because the Lord is one with us. Amen? As long as we are one with the Lord, then we can put our enemy out of our territory. In Acts chapter 1, okay, let's go to the New Testament. You know, all these verses in the Old Testament that speaks about God's people. And the church is not the building, the church is us. Amen? We are the church. I said we are the church. Church is not... The big building that we see, the church is the people. Acts chapter 1. In verse 13. When, when they had entered the city, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. That is Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, the son of Alpheus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas the son of James. These all with one mind were continu continually devoting themselves to prayer along with the woman and Mary the mother of Jesus and with his brother. In Acts chapter 2 verse 1, 
when, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. That's why the word one is very important. I said the word one is very important. That's why even God, even though they are three, but they are one. I said they are three, but they are one. In the Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4. Are you awake? Sure? You know, some people I don't see their face anymore. I don't know how, when they will appear before me. <laughs> Maybe uh, we will have some rules and regulation in our church. If you don't attend three months, I will never knew you anymore. Uh, hello. Okay. Subukan nyo mabsin ang tatlong buwan sa company. Wala na kayong trabaho. Hello. Isang linggo nga lang, di ba? Uh, hello. Absent without leave. Hello. Awol. In the church, tatlong buwan na umatin yung iba. Pag kinausap namin, saan ka umatin? Anong church mo? Banggitin pa rin nila yung pangalan ng church natin. Please, don't mention our church. If you are three months are not here, Please. Hello. Oh, sorry. Where are we? Ephesians 4. Oh, sorry, we have a new people in our midst. This is a family matter. Ephesians 4. Okay, this is our scripture. Therefore, the, therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called, with all humility, humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love. Amen. Tolerance is different from tolerating. Amen. We, have, we must have long tolerance, but not tolerating. Okay, I hope you understand the difference between the word tolerance and tolerating. Okay. Ask Uncle Google. Uh, hello, then you will know the meaning. Being diligent to preserve the unity of spirit, of the spirit in the band of peace. That's why I always look for the spirit of unity and look for peace with one another. In verse 4, there is one body and one spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led captive of hosts, he led the captive a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. You write these things. The church in the power of one, number one, we are part of one body. We are part of one body. That's why all of us must understand that though we are many members, but we are on the same body. I said we are on the same body. The Bible says though, though we are many, many in Christ, but we are one body in him. In Romans chapter 12, verse 4, Romans 12. So we must understand that we are many, but we are one. 12 verse, verse 4. For just as we have many members in one body, and all the members do not have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Amen? That's why for, for us, as a church, to move in the power of one, we must have this understanding that we are part of the same body. Amen? I said we are part of the same body. 
we are connected to the same head. We are connected to the same head. You know, the problem with so many churches, they, they have different heads. But the real church of Christ, we must understand that we are connected to the same head. Meaning there's only one, we, we recognize the same God in our life. I said we recognize the same God in our life. We are connected to the same head. We are sharing the same life. <clears throat> we are share, sharing the same life. Meaning we must have, we must carry the same life. And that is the life of Christ. I said we are, we are sharing the same life. And the, and the life that we share is not our own life, but it's the life of Christ. I said the life of Christ. We are sharing the same life. We belong to one another. We belong to one another. You know, look at the Catholics. They come together. Di ba pag, ito sila sa church. Paglabas, di ba hindi nila kilala yung isa't isa. Hello, they don't know each other. Uh, alam na, alam lang niya pagkatapos ng, ng service, peace be with you, peace be with you. Uh, hello, makatina ba ng Catholic? I'm Catholic before. <laughs> Amen? Uh, iba talaga pinanganak ng ewan. <laughs> Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Pag nakarap yung kaawa niya, peace be with you. They, they don't have life. Hello. They, they, they don't know each other. Amen. They, they don't belong to one another. Amen. But we as, we as part of the body of Christ, we must understand that we are belong to one another. My life is not on my own. I li- our lives are intertwined. I'm sorry. Our lives are connected. Amen. What happened to you? will affect me. What happened to me will affect you. If you don't, di ba, pagka pinukpok mo yung hinlalaki mo, hinlalaking daliri mo sa paa, at yung katabi mo yung sumigaw, hello, mali, mali yung napukpok mo. Uh, hello. Meaning, if, if you are hurt, and the body, di ba, pag ikaw ay may, may naramdaman, at hindi naramdaman ng iba yung naramdaman mo, maybe you are disconnected. Uh, hello, maybe they are not part of your life. Or maybe the church is not part of you and the church is not part, you are not part of the church or the church is not part of you. Because you don't feel anything when something happened to you. Uh, hello, uh, hello. Eh, hey, naintindihan niyo sinabi ko? Kung, 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 may naramdaman ka at walang nakaramdam na bahagi ng katawan. Baka hindi ka bahagi ng katawan na yon at yung katawan na yun hindi ka rin bahagi. Hello. But we as the church, we must understand that we are part of the same body, that we are connected to the same head, we are sharing the same life, we belong to one another, we protect and care for one another. We protect and care for one another. In Philippians chapter 2, open your Bible in Philippians chapter 2, verse 19. Okay, the first church is so powerful. Why? Because they know how to protect and care for one another. Philippians. Therefore, if there's any encouragement in Christ, oh, sorry, sorry, verse 19, I'm sorry. Philippians 2 verse 19, But I hope in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy to, to you shortly, so that I also may be encouraged when I learn of your condition. For I have no one else of kindred spirit who will genuinely be concerned for your welfare. For, for they all seek after their own interests, not those of Christ Jesus. That's why we as God's people, we must know how to 
to protect and care for one another. That is true Christianity. I said that is true Christianity. Being part of the church is not just attending service. Hello, I said being part of the church is not just attending service, enjoying the song. Next week we will enjoy the air condition. Enjoying the enjoy enjoying the food. You know, in some churches, pagkatap pagkatapos ng gawain may kainan. That's how they entice the people. You isang Korean church, pagkatapos ng gawain may pagkain, may swimming, at may may pauwi pagka uwi na. Masarap yung ganun church. But we are not looking for those kind of church. Hello, we are looking for the church that really cares for one another. Not just providing food. I said not just providing food. But we are genuinely caring for one another about our welfare in Christ. Hello, ano yung katatayuan natin kay Kristo? Hello, That's, that must be our primary concern for one another. Uh, hello. Dapat yun yung unang-una nating concern sa bawat isa. Uh, hello. Di ba iba? Wala nang ibang alam tanong. Kumain ka na? Okay ka na? Busog ka na? Oh, kumain ka na? No, no. To feed the stomach is so easy. Uh, hello. But we must be concerned for the real thing. I said we must be concerned for the real thing. And that real thing is our our relationship with Christ. Amen. The Christ that is in us. That's why the Bible says, For I have no one else kindred spirit who will genuinely concern for your welfare. For they all seek after their own interest, not those of Christ. That's why we, we as the church, for us to move in the power of one, we must know how to protect and care for one another. Also in Acts chapter 4, verse 32. Acts 4, verse 32. You learn how to open your Bible from left to right. Uh, hello. Amen. Si Daddy dapat inuna yung pinaka nasa unahan hanggang sa pinaka dulo. No, learn how to open your Bible from left to right, north to south, east to west. Uh, hello. I know some of you are grumbling in your heart. Acts 4 verse 32. And the congregation of those who believe were of one heart. Okay, we must we must enter into the power of one. And the congregation of those who believe were of one heart, one soul. And not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own, but all things were common property to them. And with great power, the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and abundant grace was upon them all. For there was not a, a needy person among them, for all who were owners of land or houses would sell them and bring the proceed of the sales and lay them at the apostles' feet, and they would be distributed to each as any had need. I tell you, when we move in the power of one, there will be no needy in the church. I said there will be no needy in the church. You know, look at so many big churches and yet they have so many poor members. Okay. For example, Catholics. Uh, hello. Okay. I, I'm not attacking them. Okay, let, let, don't go further. Even Christian itself. Uh, hello. Even, um, even among us as Christians. Uh, hello. What they only knew is to collect, but they don't know how to distribute. But the church must know how to to become a distributor to, the, to those who have need. Amen. Can I write these things under point number one? We are part of Him and we are part of one another. We are part of Him and we are part of one another. That's why we always look for the welfare of one another. Amen? I said always look for the welfare of one another. Not just in material things, but our relationship with Christ. Amen? Always take care of the Christ that is in each one of us. Make sure the Christ that is in each one of us are growing 
are getting stronger, how we can help one another to grow in Christ. This is our primary assignment to take care, how we take care for one another. Number two, we are not just part of one body, but we, we, are, we are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Spirit. The Bible says, when Jesus rose from the dead, the same Spirit that touches the body of our Lord Jesus is the same Spirit that we have received. Amen? That is in the book of Romans, chapter 8. Amen? Same Spirit that touches the mortal body of our Lord Jesus Christ is the same Spirit that will quicken our mortal body. Do we receive the same Spirit? I said, do we receive the same Spirit? Do we have the same Spirit? Amen. We have the same Spirit. The Holy Spirit that is in us is the same. I said the same Spirit that we have received. Unless you receive different Spirit. Kaya sabi ni Pablo, maliba na lang ibang Spiritong tinanggap nyo. Uh, hello. I think it's in the book of Galatians. Okay, open your Bible. Galatians. Mga Kristiyanong taga-Galasya, pag linggo wala. Gala. Hello, sa church wala, pero pero paglabas mo, makita mo doon sa galaan. Puyat daw, kaya di naka-aten. I tell you, the moment I learn of those things, please. Then when they are in needs, they beg you to help them. Know. Those things I cannot handle. You know, the things that I cannot handle in the people is when they lie and those who don't give value to what you value. Those kind of things that I cannot handle with the people. That's why some pa- one pastor said, Nagpapaalis ka ba ng membro? Oh, there are two things that push me to do it. When they lie, and they don't give value to what I value. Because if I keep these people around me, they will be, they will put me in danger. Hello. That's why make sure the pe- people around you value what you value in life. Hello. Or else they will squander what you have. Uh, hello. They will squander what you have labored for so long. Okay, Galatians, I'm sorry. All of us have weakness and we must have long tolerance on it. Amen. Uh, hello. Amen. We know how to forgive. Chapter 3, you Polish Galatians, not you, Galatians. <laughs> Hello. Amen. You Polish Galatians, not, not the burning church. Thank God. It's for the Galatians. Who has, who has bewitched you before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified? This is the only thing I want to find out from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by hearing with faith? Are you so foolish, having begun by by the Spirit? Are you now being perfected by the flesh? Did you suffer so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain, so then, so then does He who provides you with the Spirit and works miracles among you do it by works or the law? or by hearing with faith. That's why we receive the same Spirit. I said we receive the same Spirit. That's why we must, we, we, we must understand that we, we are one Spirit with Him and with one another. I can write these things under that point. Are we one Spirit? 
Write these things. He is the mind of the matter. He is the mind of the matter. Meaning everything starts with Him. I said everything starts with God. We don't start within ourselves. We don't start with somebody else. We start with Him. And dito nagsisimula. Lahat tayo nagsisimula sa Kanya. Amen. All things originate with God. I said all things originate with God. That's why if we want to move in one spirit, we must start with God. I said we must start with Him. Praise the Lord. Uh, hello. I tell you some of you, you're already on the third heaven. Uh, hello. I'm saying you're tulog na. Hello. Okay, are you awake? Let's see. If we want to move in one spirit, then we must understand that He is the mind of the matter. Meaning, we all start with Him. All things originate with Him. Okay, just write this. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16. We have no time to open every scripture. But when you go back home, please read all this, all the scripture that I gave to you. He is the mind of the matter. Meaning, all things originate with Him. In Him. That's why if we want to move in one spirit, we must start with God. Start with what He is saying, what He is doing. Don't start on our own. Don't start for one another. Start, start with Him. Amen? If we want to move in one spirit, we must understand that we all have the same source and same leaders that we follow. We all have the same source and same leader that we follow. So our source must be with Him. I said our source must be the Spirit of God. Amen? He must be our leader. He must be the one that we follow. Don't follow everybody. Alam nyo, yun ang mahirap sa simbahan. They follow so many leaders. But that's why the church cannot enter into power of one because they follow so many leaders. There must be only one leader. And that must be God. I said there must be only one leader. Kasi pinyo, di ba, pag, lalo ngayon, di ba, pagka binuksan mo yung social media, talagang magugulat ka. Yung isa, sabi ng isang preacher, I am the mafia of all the prophetic. Wow, mafia. Salita pa lang, alam mo lang hindi galing sa Diyos. Hello. Mafia of all the prophetic. I am the father, I am the godfather of the prophetic. Wow. Mafia talaga to. But he, ha- he had so many followers. And he can prophesy to you even how much money do you have on, in your wallet. Hey, that's how accurate he is. But I tell you, you can discern the spirit. It is not really from God. Hello. And, and so many church people, they are, they are attending, they have their church, but they, follow, they, but they are followers of that man. <laughs> hey, we must have one leader. We must have one source so that the church will enter into power of one. Hello, we must carry the same spirit. We must follow the same spirit. You know, sometimes when you open, you, when you open the social media, you will see all kinds of funny people out there. <laughs> Matatawa ka sa mga tao. Uh, hello, yung isa mafia, yung isa godfather, yung isa ay, they are the, he said that I, I'm the, tawag sa so word na yun, um, parang miralko, tawag doon, they are, they are the one who control all the power supply. Uh, what is the terminology? Huh? Monopoly. They, they, they are the monopoly of the prophetic. Wow, I'm really shocked. How they despise our forefathers, like Dr. Bill Hammond, Maurice Zerulo, and all, all, all those who are pioneer of faith before they, before they were born. I tell you, don't, don't follow everybody 
especially in social media. Uh, hello, we must have one leader. I said we must have one leader. We must have one source so that the church will enter into power of one. Kasi ba kahit kahit na anong dami na simbahan, wala lang bali wala lang sa Jablo. Why? Because they don't follow one leader. They follow many leaders. They have so many sources. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, that's their source. But they attend the church. <laughs> no, no, we must have one leader. Amen. Walang taong dalawa ang ulo. <laughs> Monster 'yon. Uh, hello. And don't, and don't and don't follow somebody who have no head. Hello. Ng iba naman sulod na sulod sa mga taong wala namang sinusundan din. Eh, don't follow who, who go on their own way. We must follow somebody who follow the Lord and follow somebody who follow the Lord. Amen. Or else we, bo- both of you will go into the pit. That, that's why we, for us to enter into the power of one and, and operate in, the, in, the, in, in one spirit, we must understand that we, we must have one, I'm sorry, we must have the same source and same leaders that we follow. We receive the same counsel from the Holy Spirit. We receive the same counsel from the Holy Spirit. Kaya di ba problema ng mga tao sa loob ng church? Bago sila magpa-counsel sa pastor, marami na sila. We must receive the same counsel from the Holy Spirit. Amen. We only ask for confirmation. Not the confirmation that we want to hear, but the confirmation of what the Holy Spirit is saying to us. Amen. That is confirming through, uh, through the leaders that God put in front of us. Amen. Hey, this is very important because the moment the church enter into the power of one, we can chase a thousand, not just thousand, but ten thousand into flight. Amen. We can really push the enemy out of every territory. You know, you know I remember praying for Kagayan that God will, will raise a new leader. I tell you, it's already happening. The governor is already removed. Das Marinas is the next one. New name will rise. I tell you, there will be no monopoly of controlling the city anymore. Because God will raise up a new company of leaders. Amen. I tell you, the church is so powerful that we can remove people from power. I said we can remove people from power. And give it to the right, right leaders that God is raising up. But it can only be happened when we enter into the power of one. Praise the Lord! Hello. Hey, don't close your eyes. Tell your neighbor, don't close your eyes. Amen. Hey, every time I see somebody closing their eyes, I will do this thing. Who the Father is. I'm sorry. The mind of Christ speaks about who the Father is. Hindi. Sa taas. May mga bata, baka nagagalaw yung kuryente. mga bata, ilayo nyo dyan. Sorry, naka-live tayo. Ako, commercial tayo. John 15. The mind of Christ speaks about the Father's will. The mind of Christ speaks about who the Father is. John 15, verse 15. No longer I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. 
the mind of Christ speaks about doing the same purpose. That's why if we are operating in one spirit, we are, we are fulfilling the same purpose. I said we are fulfilling the same purpose. But look at the church. The more they become more, the more they have many purpose rising inside the church. But the purpose of God is no longer the purpose of God is, is no longer they are fulfilling as a church. Diba? Hindi na yung purpose ng Diyos yung tinatakbo ng mga nung simbahan, kundi yung purpose na ng bawat tao sa loob ng church. But if we are operating on one spirit, meaning we are doing the same purpose. Amen? Or we have one purpose, and that purpose is to to, to do God's will. I said, to do God's will and obey God's command. Number three, for the church to move in the power of one, number three, not only we are one body, not only we, we have one spirit, but also we have one hope. We have one hope. Meaning we carry the same hope in our heart. We, are, we carry the same hope in our heart. We are united in one purpose. We are united in one purpose. We share the future together. We share the future together. Meaning we have collective future. I said we have collective future. Kasi ba, mga tamang mga tao sa loob ng church, the moment they fulfill their dream, you will no longer find them in the church. Pag nakuha na nila yung gusto nila, wala na sila sa church. Why? Because they don't know how to live in collective future. They only knew how to live an individual life. But even Catholic have their own song that no man is an island. Uh, hello. Eh, alam niyo pa yung kanta ng Catholic. Walang sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Dahil pag namatay ka sa sarili mo, walang maglilibing sa'yo. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Eh, that's the truth. Uh, namatay ka. Wala. Sa sarili ka lang namatay. Sa, namatay ka para sa sarili mo. Walang maglilibing sa'yo. Uh, hello. But but you live, you, you, you're not only living for yourself, you live for, for one another when you die. Somebody will take care of your body. Uh, hello. Even in your death, somebody will take care of you. Uh, hello. Iba, yung iba sa sobrang makasarili, halos walang dumalaw sa burol nila. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Okay. Wala pa naman akong natin ang ganong patay. Uh, hello. Oh, burol. But I tell you, we, we, we must have the same hope in our heart. We must have one hope. Amen. Meaning we are united in one purpose. We share, we share the future together, meaning we live a collective future. We, sh we share the same legacy. We share the same legacy, meaning we have the same inheritance. We have the same inheritance. What is our inheritance? What, what, what is the inheritance that we shared with one another? I write those questions and begin to ask God for the answer. And the answer is in Ephesians chapter 1, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10. You know, if I will talk to you how to be happy, how to be loved, how to forgive, you must know all those things and you don't need to be teached by anyone. Because Christ is in you. Because Christ is in you. Those, those elementary teaching, you must know it. Because Christ is in you. 
But we are talking about the church. I said we are talking about the church. We are not talking about how to be happy, how to reach your dream, 10 steps for prosperity. Hello. 10 steps to be to forgive. 10 steps to to move forward from the past. You must know all those things. I said you must know all those things. We must talk about higher purpose. I said we must talk about higher purpose. Or else those things teachings you can find it in some church, in other church. That's why they, they, they go they don't go any farther. They are blessed, they are rich, but they are not going anywhere. But we are going somewhere. I said we are going somewhere. And that somewhere is inheriting our inheritance. I said inheriting our inheritance. Inheritance is not land. I said inheritance is not land. Praise the Lord! Hey, please. Inheritance is not land. Inheritance is not property. Our inheritance is in Christ. Do you want to know your inheritance? The inheritance that we shared. That we are, share, we are sharing the same inheritance. We share the same legacy. Legacy speaks about inheritance. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. With a view to an administration suitable to the fullness of times, that is the summing up of all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on the earth, in Him also we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to His purpose, who works all things after the counsel of His will, to the end that we, that we who were the first to hope in Christ would be to be the praise of His glory. In Him, you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of truth, okay, the gospel of your salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in Him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who has given us a pledge of our inheritance. That's why, that's why the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that God gave to us, He gave that Holy Spirit so that we can we can receive our inheritance. Amen? In verse 14, who has given us a pledge of our inheritance with a view, of, with, with a view to the redemption of God's own possession to the praise of His glory. For this reason, I too, having heard of the faith in the Lord, which, in the Lord Jesus, which exists among you and your love for all the saints, do not cease giving thanks for you while making mention of you in my prayer that the God of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of Him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of His calling, what are the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints, and what is the surpassing greatness of His power toward us who believe. These are in accordance with the working of the strength of His might, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things in subjection under his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Imagine our inheritance. We share the same inheritance. Our inheritance that... that our inheritance is that we are seated together with Him in the heavenly places. We shared, we shared with, we, we shared with Him on the throne. I said, I said we shared with Him on the throne. We are equal share with Christ on the throne. We are equal shared with Christ in His authority. Okay. That's why this is our inheritance. Ang mana natin, hindi yung lupa. Hindi ba nagaantay ng mana? Lord, anong mamanahin ko sa'yo? Lupa. Walang lupa doon. <laughs> Hello? Hey, our inheritance in Christ is that we, we are equal. Share with Him. What is in Christ also belongs to us. What God gave to Christ is also what He gave to us. Because we are seated together with Him. The power that He bestowed in Christ is the same power that 
God wants to give to us. The same Holy Spirit that touches the mortal body of our Lord Jesus Christ on the grave is the same Holy Spirit that God gave to us. Imagine our inheritance among the saints. That's the reason why He gave us the Holy Spirit. Amen? Eh, hindi ko alam kung anong hinahabol nyo sa buhay nyo. If you are only looking for material things in this world, eh, we don't need church. Just follow kibuloy. Eh, we don't need church. We don't need the Holy Spirit. Why God gave us the Holy Spirit? Not just to attain everything in this world. Of course, God will bless us. I said God will bless us with all all material things. Eh, ba, hindi naniniwala. I said God will bless us so that we become a blessing. Because we cannot become a blessing un- unless God bless us. Amen. But God wants to give us more than material blessing. And that blessing is we share with Christ. I said we become co-heir with Christ. I said co-heir with Christ. Say to your neighbor, you are co-heir with Christ. Imagine the word co-heirs. Kung anong meron si Kristo, meron tayo. Kung nasaan siya, nandoon tayo. Kung ano siya, magiging tayo. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Parang hindi masaya, hindi masaya yun. Uh, hello. I don't know what what makes you happy. What makes you diba, what, what makes you joyful in your life that we become co-heirs with him. Christ we are co-heirs with Christ. Hey, do you understand co-heirs? Eko ano yung minana ng na ni Kristo sa Diyos sa kanyang ama. The same inheritance that we will receive through him. Amen. That he he became the habitation of God here on the earth. Hello, God dwells in Christ. The same inheritance that we have shared, the same legacy that we have shared with one another, that we become the habitation of God here on the earth as as a church. The church is the habitation of God. Hey, imagine the inheritance. That's why we we. We have one hope. Amen? I said we have one hope. Meaning we share the same legacy. We fulfill the same destiny together. We, we fulfill the same destiny together. That's why together with all the saints. Hallelujah. I don't know how, how you understand this thing. Chapter... in Ephesians Ephesians chapter chapter verse together with all the saints. Okay, chapter 3 verse, let's read verse verse 8. To me, the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to preach to the Gentiles the unfathomable riches of Christ and to bring to light what is the administration of the mystery which for ages has been hidden in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the rulers, through the church, I'm sorry, through the church, to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose which, which he carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confidence, access through faith in him. In verse, in verse 18, okay, verse 17, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith, and that you may be being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, the depth, and height, and depth, and depth, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Hey, imagine, we fulfill the same destiny together, and that destiny is to be 
to be filled with the fullness of God. I said to be filled with the fullness of God. That is our destiny. Okay, I don't know what destiny. Uh, I am destined to be billionaire. But our destiny is more than to be a billionaire, but to be filled with all with all of God in our life. How it will happen together with all the saints. I said together with all the saints. When we come in the power of one, when we understand that we are part of the same body, we have the same spirit, we have one spirit, we have one hope, then we are fulfilling the same destiny. And that destiny is to be more and more like Him. He meant to be more and more filled with with the fullness of God in our life. Hey, do you believe these things? To know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that you may be filled up to all the fullness of God. Hey, that is our destiny. The ultimate destiny of man is one day God will manifest, manifest in this flesh. I said God will, will be seen in the flesh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why you come to church. Eh, iba di ko alam kung bakit pumunta sa church. Eh, bakit kayo pumunta sa church? Para magsimba, at least hindi tayo matawag na pagano. No, no, no. We come to church because we want to know Him. And we want to be filled with all the fullness of God in our life. Why? Because that that's our ultimate destiny. I said that is our ultimate destiny. That is the end of everything that God will be revealed to us. That we will we will be we will know God and become known of God. Hello. I said we will know God and become and we will be known of God. That's our ultimate destiny. That's the reason why we are pushing ourselves and running towards this race. This is the race that we are running. We are run we are not running the race to go up to heaven. Hello. Iba, di ba yung takbo yung ilang tinatakbo, makarating sa langit. Gusto mo makarating agad sa langit, mamatay ka na ngayon. Hello. Pero ayaw naman din mamatay nung iba. Hello. But the truth is, that that's not our race. I said that is not our race. Our race is to be filled with the fullness of God. One day we will know God and become known of Him. Hello. To know Him and be known of Him. Yung iba naawa na ako sa inyo, talagang duling na yung iba. Habi na yung Ang duling na sa antok. Okay lang kayo? Uh, hello, ano, ako pang manggigising sa inyo. Gisingin nyo yung katabi nyo. Bigyan nyo ng... Uh, hello. Praise the Lord. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Tayo nga tayo saglit. Tayo kayo saglit. Mainit pa naman. Nakakantok talaga ang init. <laughs> Sorry. Gising na tayo? Okay, pwede tayo mo po. That's why we, we are not only one body, not only one spirit, but also one, we also live in one hope. Amen? Meaning we are fulfilling, our, we, we fulfill the same destiny together. Okay, write these things number number four in, in the, the church Moving in the power of one, number four. We are under the same law. We are un- under the same law. We are under the same law. Meaning we are living, o- we are, we are under one, I'm sorry, we are under the same law. Write these things under that point. No one is above the law. We follow the same rule. No one is above the law. We follow the same rule. Sorry. Excuse me. That's why inside the church, we, we must live in one law, not in different law. Hindi ba misa magulat ka sa ibang simbahan, itong group na to, pwede sa kanila to, sa iba, itong group, hindi ito pwede sa kanila. Hello, ito, ah, uh, no, no, we, there's no above, nobody is above the law. We follow, we are under the same law. I said we are under the same law. Yung iba pwede mag-asawa ng unbeliever, yung iba hindi pwede. Yung iba, uh, hello. 
Okay, in some churches are like that. That's why there's no there's no power of one in the church. Why? Because they implement different rules to different people. Okay, we must all follow the same rule. We must be under the same law, not different law. Oh, this law is not applicable to that person. This law is only applicable in that group of people. No. We are not different to one another. We are all sons and daughters of God. That's why we must follow the same rule. Amen? Tell your neighbor, no one is above the law. Amen? All of us must follow the same rule. Amen? Amen. Amen. We follow the same rule because no one is above the law. Write these things under that point. We are all under the government of God. We are all under the government of God. Okay, if we want to see the church moving in the power of one, we must understand that we are all under the government of God. There's only one government that we follow, and that is the government of God. Amen. Not the government of men, not the government of the pastor, but the government of God. Amen. Amen. Even the pastor are under that government. Hello, why? Because if we, we, if we are not under authority, we have no authority. Those who exercise authority because they know how to be under authority. I said you cannot exercise authority if you are not under authority. Hello. Wala akong pakialam sa authority. Basta gusto ko lang pumunta sa langit. <laughs> hey, that's not our race. I said that's not our race. God did not die on the cross. Christ did not die on the cross just to bring us to heaven. Okay, that's the truth. He did not die on the cross just only for our sin and to bring us to heaven. He died on the cross to restore everything. To bring back all things into the original plan and original purpose of God to men. Hello. Hello. And it, and it includes restoration of the whole earth and restoration of all of all institution that God instituted here on the earth. I hope you understand. That's why no one is above the law. We are all under the government of God. We all understand that His authority is absolute. We all understand that His authority is absolute and His authority is final. We all understand that His authority is absolute and His authority is final. So every time God speaks, even how right we are, we are wrong. I said every time God speaks, even how right we are, still we are wrong. Because the one who is speaking is always right. I said the one who is speaking is always right because he is God and his authority is final. If he say if he say no, you cannot push yourself. You cannot push him to the wall so that you can say yes. Oh, they call it permissive will. No, there's no there's no such thing permissive will. In God there's on, there's only two things, yes and no. Hello, there's no between yes and no. If God say yes, you cannot push him to say no. If God say no, you cannot push him to say yes. Hello, why? Because his authority is final. His authority is absolute. Amen? Amen. Write these things under that point. We all follow the same... I'm sorry. We all follow the same commander-in-chief. We all follow the same commander in chief, meaning we have we we have one leader to follow. Amen. We have one commander in chief. Amen. Not, not like our government today. The president is not the one who gave the orders. So many people gave orders. Hello. That's that's the problem with our government today. There's no real commander-in-chief. Uh, hello. Hey, imagine the one who is appointed by the president. He is the one telling all the people, because it is my birthday, 
all the train is free of free of fare hello no we cannot we 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 must follow the commander in chief not doing our own rule for ourselves it is because our it is because it is our birthday hey, this is important that we all follow the same commander in chief meaning he is the boss and he is always in charge hey who is the boss of your life who is in charge of your life god must be in charge who is who is in charge of the church who is the boss of the church god is the boss i said god is the boss god, god is in charge of each one's life not not us not ourselves amen that's why for the church to move in the power of one we must have we must understand that we are one body we are one spirit we have one hope we have one law and this is the last point for the day thank you lord praise the lord we're hungry god answer my prayer okay one faith And next week I will continue we will continue this this topic about the church moving in the power of one one body okay everybody say one body one, body. one, spirit. one spirit one hope one, hope. one, law. one law one faith, one faith. Amen. amen write these things under that point we are hearing the same message we are hearing the same message. If we want to operate on the same faith, we must hear the same message. You know, the Bible says in the book of Romans 7, 10, 17, just write it down. Romans 10, 17, when you come back home, open, open this scripture and make it, make it your personal Bible study. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. That's why if we want to operate on one faith, on the same faith, we must hear the same message. Amen. Amen? Amen? That we are hearing the same message. We are hearing the same voice. We are hearing the same voice. Amen? Not, not the voices of men, but the voice of God. Amen? You know, it's not, I'm not telling anyone, oh, don't listen to this, don't listen to that person. If you keep listening to everybody, we will, how come we can operate on the same faith? Because some people teach another thing. Uh, hello. Even Paul says, even if angels, even if angels come to you and teach another thing, that the, another thing that I teach you at first, don't listen to that angel. Why? Because it's, it's danger, it's dangerous to listen to everyone how we can operate on the same faith how we can live in one faith if we keep listening to everyone hello that's why if we want to have one faith in our church we must hearing the same message amen we are hearing the same voice we are speaking the same thing we are speaking the same thing we all have the same values we all have the same values, meaning we give importance on the same thing. Yeah, you value what I value. We value what God values. Hello. Hello. We are standing on the same ground of faith. We are standing on the same ground of faith. Okay, open your Bible in Hebrew 11. Okay, just open it. I will not, we will not read it. I will just give you all these things about faith. Okay, write these things. Faith hopes. Meaning if we have faith, Hope will rise in our heart. Amen. Faith hopes. Faith sees. Faith sees the invisible.
faith sees the invisible. All these things are in Hebrew 11. Faith sees the invisible. Faith gains approval. Faith gains God's approval. I'm sorry. Faith gains God's approval. Faith gives us understanding the power of God's word. Faith gains God's approval. Faith gives us understanding the power of God's word. Faith will make us a better worshiper. Faith will make us a better worshiper. Faith will cause us to walk with God. Faith will cause us to walk with God and be taken by God. That's why we must operate on this on this ground of faith. You know, people teach about faith in so many ways, like faith to buy things. If you have money, you don't need to have faith to buy things. Just buy. Okay. Hello. I said, if you have money, you don't need to have faith to buy. Just buy. Don't use faith in a wrong way. God, God, did, not, God did not give us faith to buy. God gave us money to buy. And go to Dubai. And buy. Uh, hello? But the problem is the people use faith in the wrong way. A faith is not being used to have the material things. Why? Because faith makes us a better worshiper. Faith will cause us to walk with God and be taken by God. Faith gives us power to overcome death. Faith gives us power to overcome death. Faith makes us righteous. Faith makes us righteous. Faith Faith gives us power to please God. Faith gives us power to please God. The Bible says without faith, without faith, we cannot please God. That's why faith will give us power to please God. Faith makes us believe that He is. Faith makes us believe that He is. Not just He has, but He is. I said not just He has, but He is. Meaning we seek Him, not His hand, but we seek His face. People seek God's hand. People seek of what He has, but not seeking of what He is. But real faith will cause us to seek of who He is. Amen? Faith Faith gives us power to obey. Faith gives us power to obey. Faith allows us to inherit the promise. Faith allows us to inherit the promise. Faith allows us to inherit the promise of our inheritance. Sorry. Faith will make God proud of us. Faith will make God proud of us. Hey, that, that's the cause of faith. Because we have faith with God, God will be proud of us. Faith will make God proud of us. Faith will make us pass the test. Faith will make us pass the test to become tried and tested. Faith will make us pass the test to become tried and tested. Faith will cause us to see the future. 
faith will cause us to see the future. Amen. Not only our future, but the destiny of people and nation. Faith will cause us to see the future and destiny of people and nation. Faith will give us a stature in the spirit. Faith will give us a stature in the spirit. Faith will break all the bandages and set us free from slavery. Faith will break all the bandages and set us free from slavery. Faith will enable us to see. Faith will enable us to see the beauty beyond fear and terror. So if we have faith, we, what we see is the goodness of God beyond fear and terror that is around the environment. Faith will enable us to see the beauty beyond fear and terror. Faith give us give us power to refuse. Faith give us power to refuse the pleasure of sin. Faith give us power to refuse the pleasure of sin in exchange for Christ as our reward. In exchange for Christ as our reward. Faith gives us power to conceive. Faith gives us power to conceive and give birth to God's promise. Faith gives us power to conceive and give birth to God's promise. I'm talking about Sarah. Amen. Even in her old age, he gave birth to the promise of God. Faith gives us power to build. Faith gives us power to build. That is in verse 7 of Hebrew 11. Faith gives us platform to live in the supernatural. Faith gives, gives us a platform to live in the supernatural. Faith gives us power to discern. Faith will gives us power to govern. Faith will cause us to conquer our enemy. Faith will cause us to conquer all our enemy. The last point. Faith will cause us to act righteously. Faith will cause us to act righteously. That's why the last verse in Hebrew chapter 11, the Bible says, though they see the promise, but they don't enter into it. You know why? In verse 39, And all these having gained approval through their faith did not receive what was promised because God had provided something better for us so that apart from us, they would not be made perfect. Imagine they are the one who's sacrificing everything but God did not allow them to enter in. You know why? Because their sacrifice is our gain. Our obedience to God is their reward. I said their sacrifice is for our gain. Our obedience to God is their reward. They will receive their reward when we obey God. So that all their sacrifice will not be put in vain. 
Imagine they are the one who become the example for us by giving up their life, laying down their life. They died because of their faith. Uh, hello. So that in our obedience, they will receive the reward. Amen? That's why apart from us, they will not receive the promise. Imagine they are waiting for us. Amen? That's why those who have who gone ahead of us, they are waiting for you, waiting for me. They are trusting each one of us that we will obey God and do God's will so that what God promised to them together with us, they will receive it. Amen? Let's all stand and let's thank God for the day. Father, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord, God, that the church will become more and more one before you. A thousand, a one, one can put a thousand to flight to ten thousand because we are one with you and we are one with one another. We thank you, Lord, God, that we, we understand that though we are many, but we are one body. We are part of the same body, that we are connected to the same head. We share the same life. We belong to one another. And we know how to take care of one another. That we are part of one another's life. That we are operating on the same spirit. That the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead it is, is the same spirit that will quicken our mortal body. That we have all the same source. That the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is our source. The Holy Spirit is our leader. The Holy Spirit is our counsel. counsel. The Holy Spirit is, is, is the one who who revealed to us who Christ is. And Christ is the one who revealed to us who is, who is the Father and what is the Father's will. That we carry the same hope in our heart. That we are united in one purpose. That we share our future together. We share the same legacy. That we are pursuing the same inheritance among the saints. That we, together with all the saints, we will understand the manifold wisdom of God. That we will fulfill the same destiny together. That we live under the same law. We are under one law. That no one is above the law. And we follow the same rule in life. And that is the rule of God's word. The rule of, of God in our life. The rule of God in the church. Is what we are under with. We thank you Lord God that we are operating on, on one faith. Because we hear the same message. We, ch we choose to hear the, the same voice. And that is the voice of God, the voice of the Holy Spirit. Father, right now I pray that your people will be blessed. The church will become more and more one. I pray for your blessing upon, upon every family that, that are here today. Pray, O oh Lord God, that individually you will bless them. Bless all the works of their hand so that they become more and more blessing to the world and blessing to those who are near and dear to them right now I release blessing to them right now receive it in Jesus name receive your healing receive your blessing receive God's protection upon your life I say in my spirit right now that God will <coughs> whatever bandages that, he, that the devil put into your life is now broken in the name of Jesus right now Whatever it is, I speak in Jesus' name. Yes. Be free. Yes. Be free from any bandages. Yes. The bandages of the past. Yes. The bandages of, of, the, of the words of people that hurt your heart. Yes. You know, I see, in, I see in my spirit that some of you who are here, you, some people utter, utter words that become a wound into your heart. I speak healing in Jesus' name. Yes. Let your heart be healed by the words of men. Let God's word heal you right now. No bandages. No issues of the past will hold you down and, and hold you to move forward in Jesus' name. Bless them, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, please be seated. Is there any announcement? Okay, no more. Okay, we will just post it on the group chat. Amen. About some, about our.
family matters. Okay. Okay, God bless you. Greet one another and bless one another in the Lord.